Good morning guys to another vlog. So it is Thursday morning. I'm about to get ready because I have to do so many things like so many errands that I have to do throughout the day. I'll be talking about it later in the vlog. Right now what I'm gonna do is just here's a little light. So but right now I'm just gonna do my makeup real quick and yeah, do my makeup real quick and also clean the under eyes because I still have mascara from last night. I thought I like removed it all, but like I guess like mascara is like the hardest thing to remove, especially the one that I use. Um, it actually keeps my lashes curl. Uh, it's one of the best mascara that I have put my hands on, and it is super super affordable. And I am obsessed. I like literally curl my lashes, apply them, they just like stay up. And above and curled so yeah so i'm about to do that i just need to tie not tie but just clip my hair because i feel like i have my hair on clip all right i just came back because i need to like pull my hair back but yeah i'm just applying some what is it i'm just applying some beauty oil not beauty oil I am using this eye makeup remover oil from Lancome, which is like my favorite. I've been using this product ever since I was like 15 or ever since I started wearing eyeliner and ever since I started wearing, yeah, mascara. And there you go. I know you guys haven't heard about this product. My mom lives by this and so do I. This is a Korean brand, this right here. It is just the most amazing product ever and it's very inexpensive so I apply this before I moisturize my face so I don't even know how to say it I don't even know the brand how to say it but I just know it's Korean and it works wonders yeah, this is a Total Aging Care Anti-Wrinkle and Revitalizing Serum that I'm using. And I think it's called RG2. Alright, so that is all. Like, I'm just going to apply some light makeup because I really need to get out of the house because I think it's like 11.40 and I'm like getting hungry again. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I want to show you guys what I recently got from Amazon and it's this portable hand wash stand. The reason why I bought it is because, well, since I am doing my baby shower at my suegras. So I'm renting out this porter potty for the baby shower because, yeah, and that's going to be the bathroom for the men. <laughs> and I wanted to get this portable hand wash stand. So we're going to put it outside. Yeah, so they could just like wash their hands and like eat with clean hands, you know. But anyways, I also bought these jars. So put like horchata or whatever drinks I'm going to have. I actually bought three and I'm so excited. So I'm taking all of this and this to my suegra. And then I also bought these from Amazon. But they are too short compared to the other ones that I bought. That actually are the real like length of the jar. So yeah, I'm going to return these two items. So yeah, I'm going to like take all of that. To my sweater well, desk. Go get them if you want them. Oh, yeah, Go on yeah. YouTube. Eh? <laughs> so we're at Costco because we need bath tissue and need paper tissue. <laughs> and we need paper towel because we don't have any at the house. And yeah, husband's gonna make some mussels for tonight, which I don't eat that. He loves that That's and enjoys that. <laughs> for the content, babe, for the content, okay? Get with the program. All right, so we just got home not too long ago. We literally just came to drop off the things that we bought at Costco. So yeah, right now we're going to Kohl's because I need to return those spoons that I mentioned earlier before. And then after that, we're gonna go to Safeway because he's gonna buy some ingredients to make those muscles. I don't know how he's gonna do it, but I'm sure he's gonna go all out. He's obsessed with that. So we just came back home because I forgot my phone at the house. <laughs> I've been forgetting my phone a lot lately, like a lot, like, for example, today in the morning, I think we went to Walgreens and I completely forgot my phone on the phone, like bed, you know, like on my bed. So yeah, 
because when I'm like, let me just turn back and then get your phone, Sandra. He got it. But like, this is the belly right now. This is how we look like. It's super hot and I'm actually wearing black. But it's a dress, you know? It is a dress, so. Yeah, it's not too bad. She's moving right now, you guys. Come on. Come on, baby girl. Move. Did you guys see that? She's like literally right here. I don't know if this happens to you guys, like if you guys like been pregnant or any pregnant woman watching this, but when your baby doesn't move, don't you guys like start to freak out? Cause I freak out and I'm like, okay, you need to start moving now. Like now I need to know that you're alive. <laughs> So what I do is I start poking my belly or I start talking to her and I also start drinking like heck of like ice water just to wake her up you know because you never know and that just makes me like just one movement you know or like the 10 kicks that I have to count throughout the day I don't even only I don't count it just one time I count it a lot like I'm constantly aware like if an hour pass I'm like okay my baby has moved I just want to feel okay that she's okay if that makes any sense I don't know calls you guys and I don't know should I take these glasses should I take them or not how do I look babe fabulous. oh y'all heard that right I look fabulous so I ended up getting the sunglasses you guys because my husband called me fabulous so yeah I had to <laughs> anyways um we're here at Trader Joe's we're not at Safeway because Trader Joe's was like here in the same what is it plaza so yeah He's gonna go all out. Mr. Chef Gerardo Lopez is gonna get some. <laughs> what do you mean not even? I believe in you, babe. If I believe in you, nobody's opinion fucking like matter but mine. Because the husband is craving one. <laughs> Why is it always me? <laughs> I wanted a chocolate. You said, let's get a crumble cookie. I'm like, okay. We're, this time we're only getting one, okay? We're not trying to be like fat asses because he's bad. <laughs> oh no. One for the both of us. Are you in line? She wants a M&M cookie? Yeah. And then I'll take the classic crispy bowl. Alright, and it's not gonna be all for you guys today? Yeah, that's it. I thought we were gonna share one, you know, but yeah, he I wanted saw the a different. Rice bar and I'm like, it's mine. <laughs> we wanted different flavors, right? I'm, I wanted the M and M one, and then he got the rice crispy one. Which I Both sound amazing and super tasty. I just hope my taste buds will love it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they will. 
I started drinking the smoothie and it tastes very nutty. Kind of reminds me of an atoll from El Salvador. Atoll de... Oh my gosh, I forgot. It's a Spanish word, I know. Most of you guys won't even understand what I'm saying. But if you're Salvadorian, I'm just like... But if you're Salvadorian, you would understand, you know? But I forgot the name, so I just can't say it. Thank you, babe, what a gentleman. We got in the car. But anyways, I wanna show you guys that I am 31 weeks and how many days? 31 weeks and four days. This is how the belly looks like. Here, let me just move the camera a little bit. Yeah. So this is how the belly looks like, you guys. It looks like you guys. Looks like you guys. I can't speak well. All right, so this is how the belly looks like. Um, we are getting big, okay? <laughs> very, very big. And right now, I'm gonna make myself some myself a plain bagel with cream cheese and I'm gonna put these away because I forgot to put them in the refrigerator and it's just strawberries and some kiwis yum Good morning guys okay, it's friday morning and we're actually headed to go get some breakfast because we haven't eaten anything and then we're gonna be doing so many errands because um i think i mentioned it before but i am doing my own baby shower and my cousins and my mother-in-law and basically all my entire family is helping me out but yeah we're just like um doing something small with just friends and like family and yeah we have to get the cake and we also have to get the food 
that we're gonna be serving later that day and I'm also excited because I got three of the dresses that I am going to try on to see which one am I gonna be wearing because yeah I don't even know which one I like the most I mean all three look pretty right but how do I like the second one <laughs> But you guys don't even know which one is the second one. It's like one flowy one. It's like a maxi dress. But yeah, I'll be showing you guys that. And then I also got the cups and uh, what was it? The straws, pink straws. And I have like this printer where I can print stickers. So my whole idea is to put like a sticker on those like cups and just put like it's a girl, you know? Like I think it look cute. I mean, I picture it in my head. I hope, I assume it will look pretty. But yeah, we'll test it out today. Alright, so I'm gonna get myself a veggie omelet. That's like the only thing I always get. Because like I don't like to eat any bacon um, things. I don't like to eat any bacon or <laughs> sausages. Yeah, because I'm not that type of person who eats everything. My husband is, but I'm not. But yeah, I'm starving you guys. That's my veggie omelet. My husband got that. <laughs> little update um it is 9 50 p.m and i'm in my room in front of my computer trying to get everything ready for the baby shower because my baby shower um we're gonna be celebrating it this upcoming weekend which is on saturday uh, i'm so happy you know and excited so yeah i'm just trying to get all the preparations ready and i recently got the cups that i ordered from amazon and these are the clear plastic cups i didn't want to give out the red ones because i mean they were too plain you know and like the whole theme around my baby shower it's a princess <laughs> so i'm like you know what why don't i just like get the clear plastic cups and print some stickers out and yeah just make it my own you know and then the stickers are round and they are pink so i'm just gonna like stick it into the cup and then like put something on it but what i'm putting is like basically it's a princess with a crown and like a bunch of stars which i think it looks so cute which i'm about to show you guys how they look like so this is what i came up with And these are how the stickers are coming out. Um, at first, I did this test try right here. It's a girl, you know, it's just like so simple. But then I'm like, you know what, why not make it cute? So yeah, I got these right here. I got this design ready to go and I printed it and I do love it. And I want to show you guys how the cup actually looks like with it. Alright, so this is like how the cup will look like. Trying to get the sticker and literally just place it in the middle. And voila! This is how the cups are gonna look like for my little for my baby shower. It's a princess. Isn't it cute? And then I also ordered and then I also ordered um some pink straws, but they're they have the shape of a heart on top, which I am so freaking obsessed. And then now these cups right here come with their own lid. And then the straws, the pink straws. Which I'm so happy, you know. Because everything's like revolving pink. Like pastel pink. And yeah, that's about it. I did work today. That's why I'm like super tired. And then yesterday we went to this one family gathering. Because we were celebrating Father's Day. And... Uh, we got home super, super late, and since I'm like seven months pregnant, I can hardly properly sleep. One, because, I mean, every position I get into, I am so uncomfortable. Even if I'm sitting down, you know, standing up, laying down, or just breathing, it's, it's just, it's been like hard. I have to apply some Carmex because my lips are super dry. But yeah, every position basically is just so so like uncomfortable like i'm uncomfortable already you know 
but yeah that's about it anyways it's thursday afternoon and i'm here in my kitchen 9 26 p.m about to do my gel nails because tomorrow is my baby shower i'm so excited and my nails are not done yet so obviously i had to do my nails on my own you know i love doing my nails on my own because i get to choose whatever color i want bring money and just the whole trip of going to get my nails done and i get to do it on my own you know and yeah i just watch youtube videos or netflix and i do my nails so this is my little case well it's not a little case it's my bag where all of my nail products are at um currently these don't fit in there one because i think it looks super cute with the little um tray that it comes with already and then these are from beetle gel polish they actually do last and i'm obsessed with this brand other than the madame glam one so yeah i'm right here I'm about to do my nails because tomorrow is my baby shower and i'm so super excited i think i'm just gonna go for a nude color because I'm gonna be wearing a white dress tomorrow. I'm going to be wearing a white dress tomorrow, so yeah. So this is how my setup looks like. Right here, and these are the colors. They're very summery colors. Uh, pastel Paradise, actually, yeah. These are the Pastel Paradise from Beetle, Beetle Gel Nail Polish. But the one that I'm gonna be using is here I'm just trying to open it with one hand it's almost impossible <laughs> all right the one that i'm gonna use is this one right here no i want something nude this one doesn't show much it's glory but it's very how can i say this um light pale like light nude you have to apply like, so many coats I honestly don't even know what color to wear or to choose from. This one too. It's very light. I'm going to use this one, the November Stone. Yeah, this is the one that I'm going to use, you guys. Indeed, which promoted programs to eliminate the unfit in order to create a super race. In the late 1930s and 40s, knowledge of Nazi atrocities made words like eugenics and population control unpopular in America. Guys, these are my nails. Alright, so I'm done doing my nails. And they came out to look so cute. They came out very cute, guys came out beautiful i am obsessed i love them and right now i think it's like 10 something my phone died watching youtube i was watching the history of eugenics and yeah i was very amazed you guys but anyways i'm gonna go to sleep i'm gonna go take off my makeup and then brush my teeth and go to sleep because tomorrow is going to be a long day a very long day can't wait though i'm so excited because we're going to be celebrating my little baby girl she's so pretty you know she's going to be gorgeous she's going to be so healthy and today i'm actually 32 weeks um prego yeah I'm, I'm so happy so blessed um, I actually went to my 32 weeks appointment today and the doctor said that the baby looks super healthy she is where she's supposed to be at she's getting to position she has her head bottom and then her little feet are up here and i couldn't be any more happier because when they were going to tell me the gender of my baby the the one who was doing the scan told me that she was like cross-sided and that i might needed um a c-section but you're like if she didn't like turn around i know 32 weeks is a bit too early but i know in the name of christ she will be still in position and i will have a naturally 
birth like she will come out naturally because i honestly i am afraid 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 to get a c-section because like all my respects to all the mamas out there who have had a c-section i've seen the videos and animations of how they do it and uh, all i say is that i'm, I'm scared <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared, but I pray to Christ. Um, I pray to Christ and I ask him, please allow me to have a natural vaginal birth. I don't know what I would do or I don't know how I will react if they tell me that I needed a C-section, you know, like an emergency C-section. I mean, if it's needed, it's needed, right? Like if it were to be like my, like if I were to choose, that's what I'm saying. I want a natural vaginal birth. I really, really, truly do. I'm traumatized. I'm afraid of needles. And every time they pinch me, I get like, my hands get cold. I start sweating. I sometimes forget how to breathe. <laughs> For example, today they pinched me here because I'm not severe anemic, uh, anemic, but I am anemic. So they wanted to check my blood count today. And yeah, the lady like withdrew my blood and I was like, ma'am, can you please be kind and like have a soft hand and she's like yeah 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 you know but like even when you, they say yeah i still um i still am uneased <laughs> with like the idea of like someone poking me and like removing my blood you know and i thought it was gonna be like five little bottles that they needed but no they only took two thank god you know and it hurt so bad so bad and i still haven't <clears throat> i still haven't pictured myself being in the hospital and giving birth like i still haven't visualized myself being there because i know i'm gonna be in so much pain but like i said i'm praying to god that to make it fast you know i know it won't hurt because it's in the bible it's written but i'm just saying please make it fast make it fast and let her come easy you know and like have a not a chill labor <laughs> just have a not a tough one either if that makes any sense but yeah yeah that's that you guys so i'm gonna go oh, oh my god i'm gonna go to sleep I'm gonna go to sleep and then i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow bye guys